Hi everyone, this is the Rabbi Shmuley podcast, videocast, all things wrapped up into one. There's a Bible reading this week, which I think has particular relevance to the political discourse in this country and the issue of leadership. Uh, in one of the most famous and tragic stories of the Bible, Moses, after 40 years of leading the people through the wilderness, and it's been really hard, he's brought a tyrannical government to its knees. He defeated Pharaoh with these great <laughs> celestial fireworks. He then leads a rebellious nation, and it really hasn't been easy. And this should be his moment of triumph. The people don't have water suddenly. And he says to God, hey, they're going to rebel. They've got no water. This is a desert. God says, go and speak to this rock, and it'll give you water. Moses instead takes his staff and he hits the rock and all this water comes out and the people drink. And God says, now you're going to be punished because you had the opportunity to sanctify my name, to impress the people that you listened to me and good things happened. And then they would have followed in my footsteps. But instead, you, you rebelled against me. You did not sanctify my name. And therefore, you're not going to go into the land of Israel. And of course, Moses dies at the very th threshold of Canaan, just at the foot of the promised land and never quite makes it. What did he do wrong? What was so serious? I saw this explanation from a man named Rabbi Eli Monk that has always appealed to me. God said to Moses, you know, you're in the habit of sort of like hitting the rock. That's what you did 40 years earlier in a similar story. There was no water and you hit this rock. Your leadership style is to be critical. It's to find fault and that worked so long as the Jewish people, as the Israelite nation, were extremely, uh, they, were, they were in an almost infantile stage, developmentally. They were slaves. They were coming out of slavery. So they needed someone to shepherd them. They needed someone to almost uh, treat them uh, the way a parent would uh, a child, that uh, you need to give them, teach them right and wrong. You need to reward and punish them. But they're older now, Moses. It's been 40 years. Speak to the rock now. Inspire them. Talk to their hearts. Find a way to connect with them. That was the commandment. And Moses still hit it. He was still using this leadership style, which was about criticism and admonishment. And while that was appropriate for the people when they were very small, when we have little kids, we have to, oh, you didn't behave, you're going to go to your room now. Once the kid's a teenager, you can't talk to him that way anymore. It's got to change. And Moses wasn't making that transition. So it wasn't so much a punishment so much as a new leader was now required, someone who had not been through those gruesome, difficult times. Moses' style of leadership was appropriate for the people when they came out of Egypt, but not when they were about to enter the promised land, when they would live as free men, when they had to find inspiration in a leader that lifted them up. Isn't that relevant to what's happening in America today? We're, we all sort of, we admonish each other. There's constant criticism, constant backbiting. We're all hitting the rock. We're all finding flaws. And it's easy to do it. I'm a radio host. On radio especially, it's easy to do because that's what seems to really rate. When you identify another political group as your opponents or their policies, you show unrelenting hostility to their policies and you build up a following. But you have to try to go beyond that. You really have to try to find the words of inspiration that can actually bring people together, not just to hit the rock, but to speak to it, to soften people's hearts from being stone, to make them hearts of flesh. It's the way we ought to raise our children as well, talk to them, inspire them. It's really hard because with all the pressures we all face today, we do, feel some, we do sometimes feel beaten down. No doubt Moses felt that way. He was a truly great man, but he had been through hell. But we have to make sure that we rise to the occasion and offer words of inspiration. Don't hit the rock, talk to it.